I am on the number 7 highway and I'm in a little turn spot off the highway and why I'm parked here right now is I just got off of work now on my way to work this morning I was driving along and I saw the weirdest thing you, it's, you never expect to see this on your way to work I drove by and I saw a dog's foot on the road it was just from the knee down it was the back leg and I was thinking I have got to turn around and see what this is so I turned around and I came back and I saw what it was and it was a mummified foot and it was obviously decomposing for a very long time so I get excited and say thinking if this is here there's more where is it where did this come from so I start running around the ditches because I don't have a lot of time to kill to get to work and plus if I'm picking up roadkill I'm in my work clothes and if I get messy on the way to work I don't have a change with me but anyway I found it and it's the most beautiful corpse I've <laughs> seen so far this month um, I'm assuming it was a coyote because of the coloration it's been there at least a month from the decomp so I'm in the turn spot it's probably about a five minute walk from here because there's nowhere on the road to pull over where I'm completely off the road and where I have to go right into the ditch I don't want to leave the car on the pavement so I'm going to turn this off walk up to the site and then show you a video of the body in its current state before I pick it up okay so here I was this morning I saw the foot right about there and when I pulled over the car I pulled over right about here and when I got out to look around I saw there was another foot like literally inches away from my tire I would have crushed it so I looked around the ditch and then I seen her or him I'm not sure I haven't studied this down here so here is our body those are the feet I found it was the one on the top that was on the road now there has been a lot more action here since I was here this morning this morning there was a skull I see that it is still there it's just that the face has been flipped when I was here earlier the skull was backside up so you can see the underside of the cranium at least a month I'd say that this has been here it has been disturbed quite a bit there's some fur over here it was very woolly still in the winter coat so I'm wondering if it had died in the winter time and then was just thrown down here and it didn't start to decompose until later but there's very little smell if any now I'll see once I start digging in this what kind of smell we're gonna have on our hands but there's one of my napkins that's what I use to carry it because I couldn't get to my gloves in time because they were in the trunk I see lower mandible there is the top that's the face I'm assuming the skull is under that where there was some teeth so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera away and I am gonna sift all through this to get as many bones as I possibly can so I'll probably look through that wool too but I'd say that this animal has been decomposing for at least a month they may have died in the winter time because what happens is when the body freezes decomposition is nil there's nothing so that would explain some of the mummification as well if the body froze then when it does thaw out in the spring it's slower to start the decomp process so here's our find for the day I'm extremely excited and then I'll show you how many bones I get once I get them picked through. Is this close enough? Yes. Okay, we're going to take a look at our coyote and see what parts we have and her current state of decomposition. Which coyote is this? This is going to go on to the end 
of another one. of another video. Oh, okay. So I don't have to explain who this is because everybody else knows who it is. Yuck, 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 yuck. Well, anyway, I'm going to put her into this box. All right. Here she is in the bucket. It's a little one. She was a very little one. You see, here's the tail. Yep. This shows what her coloration was. Yep. Now, you see this leather here? Yeah. This is mummified on, and the reason why it's like this, and it's not whizzled up more, is because this is from being frozen, and it's frostbitten. Okay. Like the ice mummy was. Yeah. But what that's... you mean, like, it, uh, it, Otzi? Yeah. yeah. But look how tiny that foot is. Now, if yeah. this was mummified in the heat, yeah. it would be a lot more shriveled. Yeah. But this dried out in the winter time. Freeze dried. Yeah. But these feet, they're going to need some serious soaking because they're so, they're so hard. Yeah. That's not going to be coming off. Okay. And here's the, the skull here. Yeah. And you can see both of the ears are there. So you can see how small this animal was. She was probably only about 30, 35 pounds. Yep. About the size of Dune. Yep. Good. And see, look at the look at that little nose. Yeah. And the little tiny teeth. That's about the size of Dune. Yep. About the size of Dune. Yeah. But like, look, there's one of the parts of the hip. Yeah. A very small animal. And I'm just gonna look there. Yeah, the eye is in there too. Is it? Yeah. So that tells you right away that she did die in the winter time because if she died in the summertime and she didn't freeze, the eyes would have been picked out very oh, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the tiny little atlas vertebrae. Yeah. Are you looking to see where you're putting the camera? Yeah, I'm looking to see where I'm putting the camera. That's the tiny, tiny little sacrum bone. Yeah. I figured that's what it was. Yeah, you figured that's what it was. There's a rib. Yeah. Now, I don't think there's anything else in there except for some maggots. Yay, maggots. Most of the maggots are gone. Yep, they all squirreled away. <clears throat> you can see how tiny that is, the yep. hips. I think I can find one here. The hips had sat in somewhere. Right there. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out the right angle. Yeah, because it's the angles are always it was either that way or the other way. Yep. And like that. That's a pretty good find. Yeah. But the whole skeleton isn't here because there are parts of it that would have been scavenged. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure this is a female by the size and the fact that I do have the whole hip segment. Mm. The whole pelvis area was there and there's no baculum bone. So that would mean it was a female. Well, that's a pretty good find. Yeah. Another indication that this animal died in the winter time was when I was digging around <laughs> picking up the bones. Mm you could see what had been in the intestines where it rotted down and there were no bone fragments or anything like that if the animal was eating rabbits or squirrels or mice or anything there'd be little tiny chunks of animal bone chewed up in where the intestines were yeah it was all berry seeds was it yeah but it wasn't like spring berry seeds it was the, the stuff that was, was dried hips. on the yeah the yeah. stuff that was still on the on, that was still available rose yeah. hips rowan seeds things like that yeah so this animal was a winter death. Late fall, yeah. early winter. So we'll keep everybody updated on her progress. Now this is going to take a very long time. Mm. I expect that our coyote boy who has not been dead as long is going to be clean way before she is. Yeah. Maybe so.